yet to speak to the coach of the side, Coach Odum, as the team prepares to face the Miners in the capital tomorrow. Coach Odum, welcome and thank you for inviting us into your camp. Thank you, sir. Uh, how well is the team Hustle for prepared to face the Miners tomorrow? Um, I think we have prepared very, very well for the game because we need, we need that point very badly. Because after the um, Dreams match, we, 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 we came back to sharpen one or two of our uh, two edges so that we can get a good result on Thursday. Um, are you going to say the loss to Kumasi Asante Kotoko actually gingered the team spirit in camp? Because you guys played so well, but then unfortunately you guys lost on the game. And then going back to play at the Theatre of Dreams with Dreams FC last weekend, you guys were able to pick the three maximum points. Should the supporters to expect something extraordinary tomorrow at the Nations Wembley? Um, I think the, the match we lost against Kotoko, um, we played very well. We lost because of one or two things. But my boys were very full focus. They put the match just, just behind them, and then we all we all started preparing for the the, the dreams game, and everybody saw what they exhibited there, and I think we are going to do the same thing, not only tomorrow, but game after game. Because we're coming game after game, we know you are playing your next um, game against another difficult uh, task against Adriana Stars. Should the supporters still have hope that you guys are on the road, and you're playing Ashgood on Thursday from Ashgood, and you're playing? Adriana, should the supporters expect another trailing encounter against the um, Uja guys? I think what we are doing now is what we are going to do for, for the rest of this of this of the season. My 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 boys are playing to instructions. They are they are doing the, the right things at the right time, and I think this is what we are going to do. What what the fans are seeing, they will see more of that because the boys will improve match after match, and I, and I think by the ninth tenth week. They, they, they will see different across as, as a folk. Very well. Um, supporters have been asking the uh, the whereabouts of the striker Benjamin Tete, Abednego Tete. Supporters have been wondering because people expected to see him play in the match against Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Where is the striker? Um, he came in when the window has been closed. He has signed everything, but we are waiting for the window to open so that everybody will see Abednego Tete. So supporters are rest assured that Abednego Tete is uh, eligible to play for Hasselfo when the window reopens. Oh yes, he's a, he's a Hasselfo player as at now I'm, I'm talking to you. When the, the, the window opens, Hasselfo supporters must rest assured that they will see Abednego Tete and not only Abednego Tete, but they will see different players to board. On your own impression, would you say you are impressed uh, with the sort of um, sort of competition that other teams are putting up against Team Hustle Folk after the whole Ghana Premier League was put on hold for exactly about a year ago since we are not playing any football. After the whole country were lacking football, would you say in your own estimation the football being displayed on the field is actually meeting your standards? Um, I think, as for this, I would thank all coaches in, in Ghana. They have done a marvellous job. If you watch the games we, we, we are playing now, it is not an easy game at all. If you watch Haas against Kotoko, I think one of the best games so far played in Ghana for about 10 years. I, I can assure you that the game was sell out, the fans were there, everybody enjoyed the game. And not only against Kotoko, against Dwarfs, Dwarfs were not a bad side, Dream were not a bad side, all teams we have played are very good. So I think all coaches have done very well and the club officials too, I think, they are now understanding the rudiments of the game, which I think they allow the coaches to exhibit what they know. And I think that is pushing the game now. Okay. Thank you. I've just realized your team is still doing the ice bath, introduced by Kim Grant. Uh, is this something that you also intuit that you feel the ice bath is going to help your players? Oh, yes. It is not only Ghana. They do it in everywhere, especially last day of the training, because the boys have trained throughout the, day, the whole week. So they, they must do the ice bath so that the, the, the blood circulation goes everywhere. Ice is very good for, for the blood to flow than hot water. But in Africa, we think, hey, hot water, hot water. The ice bath is very good for the boys a day before a match. Okay, so your final words to your supporters out there. What should they expect tomorrow at the Accra Sports Stadium? And I think uh, House of Folk fans have been so good to me and the Accra Sports Folk team since the uh, sugar copy match they are followers to everywhere they are so marvelous i think at the i was shocked uh has supported from why if even came to watch the match and when i heard i said what 
they are so lovely and we need them at the park to boost our, our morale to win the game for us without them it will be very difficult for us and we are calling on them tomorrow they must come in their numbers to cheer us up Thank you so much, Kodum. Coach Odum. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you win tomorrow in your league fixture against the Miners. Thank you too. Bye -bye. That was just Coach Odum, head coach of Team Hustle Folk. They're playing tomorrow in their eight-week fixture in the GPL League here at the Capital Accra. Ben Osebonsu for LTF TV. We are live at the Pobiman Soccer Center. Thanks for watching all the exclusive interviews with Teams House of Folk. We promise to bring you another exclusive interview with another GPO team closer to you on LTF TV's Fans Arena. My name has been Ben Osebonsu.